What do you think about standardized testing? I think standardized testing is a really old-fashioned way of trying to test how, um, how much knowledge people have about a subject. We have this thing called the keystones, and there's like math keystones, there's a biology keystone, there's like a keystone for like each subject, and if you don't pass like the major subject ones, then you don't graduate. I took my first algebra keystone in my freshman year, and I filled it the first time. I took my biology keystone my freshman year, and I also filled that one. I took my literature one in sophomore year, and I also filled that one. So. I basically failed almost every keystone I took so far. My sophomore year, we had this biology teacher, and we had to take biology keystones. And she didn't, she didn't really teach us well. Like we, I felt we weren't well prepared for this test. And you know, we were with her for most of the school year, and like everybody was complaining that we weren't prepared for this test. Like we all knew we were going to fail, so they had to switch us from her to another biology teacher, and. It wasn't enough time to learn the curriculum, and most of us failed. Like, I had to take the biology keystones out again this year because I failed last year. Of Philadelphia students taking the 2015 keystone exams, only 38% passed Algebra 1, 29% passed Biology, and 49% passed Literature. When I took the PSATs, I wasn't prepared because I didn't know we were taking them and there were so many questions that I, I didn't really know how to answer them because everything that I, I studied before or anything that I knew completely went out the window and everything went blank in my head. Just before the test, when you sit in there and you're looking around and no one looked like they were ready, not even you, it makes you seem confused, like you're not supposed to be here. Test anxiety, you feel really stressed and nervous and your palms get kind of sweaty and your heartbeat, it's really fast and you can't really focus on anything and your, your mind's just everywhere. And it sounds kind of silly to feel that way during a test, but that's how it feels. One out of five students experience severe test anxiety in the U.S. I feel like that if they're gonna give us questions to the advanced level, but then only teach us stuff to the basic level, that I'm gonna feel like that I'm not up with everyone else in Philadelphia. I think that the standardized test shouldn't determine whether we pass or fail and whether we graduate high school because the standardized test, it don't determine our actual knowledge that we have because someone could be actually very smart and just have bad test taking skills. Our ability to get into college is determined by this test. And like, if we fail like the Keystones, we won't be able to graduate. And if we fail the SATs, we won't be able to get into college. In February 2016, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf signed a bill delaying the Keystone exams as a graduation requirement until the class of 2019. I, I was a public school student. I was tested in standardized ways. And then I went to college and sat next to kids who went to Exeter and Andover. And the types of thinking that these kids could do on day one was not the type of thinking I was prepared to do. And it was because my curriculum was set with a different bar. Who do you feel standardized testing affects most? Low-income kids, especially low-income kids of color, who are in the schools where the consequences of No Child Left Behind can be, can be pretty severe, like the school can close. No Child Left Behind, a 2001 act signed by George W. Bush, required schools to administer annual tests and meet adequate yearly progress in test scores to receive federal funding. For those kids, you see a very significant narrowing of the curriculum you see teaching that is absolutely focused on testing, and you see kids losing the opportunity to, to do more interesting kinds of, of learning. What I notice is that it ends up being kind of a barrier on the creativity that we could, other, we could otherwise have in classroom spaces. Creativity that they have in private school spaces. I don't think that's fair. On average, students spend 20 to 50 hours per year taking standardized tests and an additional 60 to 110 hours preparing for the test. 
Instead of preparing for or taking standardized tests, how would you prefer to spend your time? I could actually spend more time in after school activities because right now I had to drop a couple activities because last year before I had to study for the SAT and the PSAT, I was in a baseball club, the chess club. This started to take up too much time and I don't got enough time to do all that so I had to drop out of baseball and chess. Well, teachers could focus on teaching things and letting it be like teaching for a longer period of time like teaching one thing for a couple weeks instead of just like jumping from one thing to the next thing because a lot of students it takes them longer to catch on so I feel like if they didn't have something that they needed to prepare for they could take their time and students could actually like engage and it could actually sink in instead of just trying to learn all this stuff for a test and then forgetting or not learning anything at all. We could focus on actually learning and discussing the information that we learn rather than rushing through it to try to make sure we cover everything in order to take the, the standardized test. $58.3 million are spent each year on PSSA and Keystone exams in Pennsylvania. Instead of funding standardized tests, how would you want this money spent? At my school, we have a cop, and they're here, like, the cops are here all the time, but the nurse is, like, rarely ever here. Like, I get, sit, I get sick and get sent to the office to sit in front of the office all day, and, like, that doesn't help. So I feel like they could uh, give us our nurse back to have, because it's wintertime and a lot of people are getting sick. But I feel like they could also pay teachers for extracurricular activities, like football, cheerleading, um, even basic things like music and um, instruments and, like, whatever, like, art classes and stuff, even after school. Like, they could spend more money on things that kids actually want to do. What is the opt-out movement? There's a movement in Philadelphia and across the country called the opt-out movement, and that involves parents and students saying, and teachers too, saying that the standardized tests have been so um, damaging to kids, to schools, to what goes on in classrooms, that it is time for kids to stop to say they won't take them anymore. And so people will um, opt out, which means they don't send their kids to school that day or the kids don't refuse to take the test. And I think it is a fabulous idea. It's an example of what happens when people come together. And it's a way for people who have felt really bullied by the system to, to speak up for themselves. I think we should support the opt-out movement because I feel like we shouldn't be forced to take tests. We should have the option to, but we shouldn't be forced to take them. I support the opt-out movement because I feel like citizens of the United States should be able to determine what they think is best for their children. Um, and the opt-out movement simply offers um, public school students' families the opportunity to say how their children will be measured. Plain and simple. If we're not comfortable taking this test and if we feel unprepared, then we just not take it at all. And I feel like instead of those days that we're actually forced to take this test, we could just not show up. How do you opt out? Step one, parent request in writing to the school principal to review exam within two weeks of exam. Step two, parent reviews test at school. Step three, parent provides written request to be excused from test to the superintendent. Step four, superintendent reviews the request. This request cannot be denied. That'll, that'll send a message that, you know, we're done being forced to take these tests and that, you know, it's time for a change.